What's up, Facebook and YouTube? Brother Sanchez speaking. Recently, me and the brother RFG Chosen One just did a, a, a video about the Trayvon Martin incident. We decoded it and broke down the numerology for you guys, explaining the fact that Trayvon Martin's dad was a 33rd degree Mason. Well, since the video, I've been getting a lot of emails and a lot of messages. And one of those emails that stand out to me is what I'm going to share you here today. If you're looking at the screen, I'm going to share that with you right now. This right here is the cherry on top of the cake for those who are still skeptical about this Illuminati conspiracy and about this Masonic uh, ritual. For those who are still skeptical, this right here ought to blow you away and all of your skepticism. So let's hop right into it. This letter actually comes from one of the lodge members of Trayvon Martin's father. This brother emailed me and he didn't want me to mention his name. That's why I got the screen adjusted to where you can only see the email. But we're going to get into this and I'm going to read it to you. It say, hey, brother Sanchez, I just wanted to add a little more light to the story about Tracy Martin and Trayvon. I believe indeed he was a sacrifice because before I joined International Free and accepted Masons around the time all that was going on, I had a dream about Tracy Martin when I found out he was a Mason. In my dream, Tracy Martin was standing at the altar looking real devilish with the three candles burning in front of him, and I could never figure out why. When I first met Tracy Martin at a church for our one-day session, my WM of my lodge introduced me to him, and all I was thinking was, damn, this Illuminati shit is real. I received my third degree by Tracy Martin in his lodge during the time the case was going on. Just to let you know the day of the verdict when Tracy Martin was not seen in court, he was getting his 33rd degree. Just to let you know the day of the verdict when Tracy Martin was not seen in court, he was getting his 33rd degree. Kind of odd to me. I attached a picture below with him in the middle getting ready to go through the ritual. I don't want my name being said or anything. Just thought I would shed a little light on it because they were prepping me up and letting me into circles I wasn't ready for. So all that ritual talk, sacrifice, etc. is real. This is coming from a Mason himself, y'all. This email was sent to me by a member of Tracy Martin's Lodge, okay? This brother received his third degree from Trayvon Martin's father, all right? And y'all reading this email just like I'm reading it right in front of your screen. Now, these the type emails and messages that Brother Sanchez get. And y'all wonder, y'all think I'm crazy, y'all think I'm tripping. Well, it's coming out of the horse's mouth. This brother said he don't want his name mentioned. Now, he gave me this picture right here that you see right here. I had to download it. Now, let's open it up and see what the picture looked like. So here's the picture. I don't know how well it's showing up to you because I got the screen still adjusted for the email. But anyway, I'll flash the picture up uh, on the screen for you right now. So, people, this thing is real. This brother said he received his third degree from Tracy Martin. That's Trayvon Martin's daddy. This man said when Tracy Martin was not seen in court, he was getting his 33rd degree, y'all. He said on the day of the verdict, when Tracy Martin was not in court, he was getting his 33rd degree. And the brother sent me this picture right here showing me the ritual now. He showed me th this is when the man was getting his 33rd degree. Now, let me flash that picture up there again for you. Now, this coming from out of the horse's mouth. This man said he had a dream about all of this. This brother ain't lying. He don't want his name shown and they ain't going to show it. But I will say I thank you for this email, my brother. Now, this brother met the man. This brother received his third degree from the man. And he telling me out of his mouth and him, Mason himself, that Trayvon was a ritual sacrifice. And y'all want to keep believing it's all a conspiracy like a fool.